Hello, everybody. Hello. How Hello. are you, Coach Shane? I can't hear you. Don't know why. See me. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can no, hear you now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes. So we got. Uh, let me say once again. Jin Yu, hello. Is Jin Yu there? Oh, he's gone. Now we have Niaz. Niaz, hello. Hello. Is that am I pronouncing your name correctly, Niaz? Okay. Yes, to the first syllable. I mean Niaz to the second to the second. Niaz. Niaz, Niaz. Yes. Okay, great, great. Jin Yu, can you hear me? Jin Yu, I can see you. Oh, we have Yuka. Hello, Yuka. Hello, Yuka. We can see you guys. I don't know if they can hear me. Okay, I can hear you. Jin Yu, can you hear me? Uh, 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 uh. Can you hear me? All right, still checking the. Uh... Alberto, are you still there? Yes. All right. Yes, coach, I'm here. Somebody has the television on. You need to turn the television down. Okay. Who has the television on? Hello, Thomas. Hey. Can you welcome, hear me? welcome. Thank you. Okay, now we just lost one person. We're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, today, welcome to everybody, and today we're going to be talking about tongue twisters. So, do you guys like tongue twisters? Yes. Yes, really? Very hard. <laughs> yeah, they are actually very hard. <coughs> well, we have, uh, I gave you 10 tongue twisters. Did you guys write them down? What does it mean, tongue twisters? I uh, tongue understand. twisters are sentences that are very difficult to pronounce. They have sounds that twist your tongue. Okay, thank you. Uh, did you not see my video earlier? Uh, I've seen it only for 10 seconds, and then I turned it off. Oh, that's not good. You need to see the whole video. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just thought that it will be just information about Friday night life and when it will be started. So. All right, that's good. Now, uh, I'll give you guys the first sentence, and uh, if anybody can write it down, I will be very impressed. Listen carefully. Little Leroy really loves Lori's hair rollers. Little Leroy really loves Lori's hair rollers. Wow, Durgum, that's excellent. Durgum, your English is really good. How come your English is so good, Durgum? I'm teacher of English. You're a teacher of English? Yeah. You must be a great teacher. <laughs> <laughs> do you teach? Do you teach in high school, Durgam, or where? Uh, in in a new uh, university in TOEFL Center. Ah, at the University TOEFL Center. Yeah. In in which city? In Diwania, in my city. Okay, okay, that's great. That's great. Your your yeah. English is really great. I'll write the answer here. Little Leroy, it's on the chat, which is off to your side. Little Leroy really loves Laurie's hair rollers. 
Okay, do you understand what that means? <laughs> Daniel, hello. Hi, Mr. Shane. How are what you? Does, good, good. What does this sentence mean? Little Leroy really loves Lori's hair rollers. <clears throat> Nobody knows. Uh, I, uh, maybe... Maybe uh, I, I I don't know what what does mean ro roller rollers hair rollers I think I think rollers uh, rollers are something you you can you can do in your hair to yeah. to uh, give it volume. There you go. This yeah. is a picture. Do you see the picture? The roller. Oh, yes. Love Yes. Those are hair rollers. Those are hair rollers. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. So little Leroy just means a little boy, and he loves Lori's Lori. hair rollers. Okay. Lori's okay. hair rollers. Okay. Now let's start. I want to hear uh, Alberto. Please read the sentence. Uh, now could you write the sentence, please, Shane? I I can read the sentence. Okay, do you have your chat on, Alberto? Do you have the chat on? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in the chat room and then but I'll read could it. You, could you start with anybody else? Maybe the, my system is a little bit uh, slowly today. Yeah, I'll, I'll start okay. with somebody else. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, uh, Thomas. Can you start? Thomas, are you there? Jin Yu, are you there? Ah, uh, maybe Thomas' microphone. No, I cannot hear you, Thomas. Check your microphone, please. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so we'll wait for Thomas to check. Uh, Jin Yu, are you there? No, okay. Niaz, go ahead. Can you try it? Uh, <laughs> try it a little later about little Leroy. Yeah, the little Leroy really loves Lori's hair rollers. I have already seen the answer. Uh, that's a, it isn't interesting. Yeah, yeah, but I want you to, I want to hear your pronunciation. Little Leroy really loves Lori's hair rollers. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Uh, Maladin, let me hear you. Yes, I hear you, but uh, can you say me? Where I can uh, see uh, what to uh, write in chat. Yes, um, if you look off to your side, maybe on this side or on this side, there is a chat. It says chat. I don't know what it says in your language, but so that you can yes. type. Do you see that? Yes, chat, yes. Yes, you click on that and <coughs> I will give you the answer. Little Leroy, do you see it? No, oh. I don't. Okay, um, let me. Little Leroy. Yes. Really uh, loves. Really love. Lori's uh, hair rollers. Lori's hair rolls. Little <laughs> Leroy really loves Lori's <laughs> hair rolls. That was very good, actually. I'm very impressed. Good job. Let me hear Durga. I don't see. I don't see text. Uh, oh, you still do not see the text, uh, Maladin. Yes, yes, I don't see text. Hmm. So, off to the side, there's a chat button. You have to hit the chat button. Hey, uh, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you, Thomas. Oh, good. Good. Maladin, keep hitting the buttons and maybe you will see something, okay? I try. I will try. Okay, okay. Uh, Durgam, please read the sentence. Okay. Little Leroy really loves Lori's hair roller. That's no problem for you. I'm very impressed. Okay. Daniel, it's your turn. Yeah. Me? Yes. Yeah. Little, little, real. Little Leroy really loves Lori's hair rollers. Wow, the Brazilian guys are good too. <clears throat> Carlos, what you got? 
little Leroy really loves Lauren's hair rollers. Oh man, this is too easy for you guys. Bear ah, Santa Raisin. <laughs> little Leroy really loves Laurie's hair rollers. Oh, you are very nice. You have it on the screen. Yeah. One more time so everybody can see. <laughs> Yes, I, Little I Leroy see. really loves Laurie's hair rollers. Wow. But I think we have to say it fast. Otherwise, it yes. Fast. Say it fast. Say it fast. <laughs> Little Leroy really loves Laurie's hair rollers. Yeah. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Very good. Yes, can I turn now? Yes. Okay. Little <laughs> Leroy really loves Laurie's hair rollers. Okay, actually, I'm really impressed. I'm very impressed. Uh, let me see. Let me go back to Thomas. Thomas, do you want to give it a try? Uh, yeah, I could, but could you just uh, rewrite the sentence again? Yes. Do you have the chat window open? Uh, yes, I have. Okay, here we go. I'll put it in the chat. Do you see it now? Yes. Uh, little, little, little Leroy really loves Lori's hair roller. <laughs> Very good. That was good. Yeah, it's a tough one. L and R. I think, uh, but all of you guys did a really good job. I'm disappointed. I want to laugh, but you are not making me laugh. Let me go to the next sentence. The next sentence. Listen carefully. Bob's very best friend found Paul's puppy Vinny. Bob's very best friend found Paul's puppy Vinny. <laughs> What the heck did I just say? Once again, please. Bob's very best friend found Paul's puppy Vinny. No way. Bob's very best friend, but. Oh, Durgum looks really good. Thomas is really good, too. I'm impressed. Is this correct? All right. I'll give you the answers. There you go. Oops, that's the wrong one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I just <laughs> I made a mistake. There we go. Uh, there we go. Bob's very best friend found Paul's puppy Vinny. Do you understand the sentence? <laughs> Vinny. Everybody Quiet. Puppy Vinny. Puppy is a is a is a dog. Is no, a, is a Bob is a guy. No, no, puppy. Puppy. No, no. Puppy Bob. Vinny. Bob is a man. Bob is a man. The puppy is Vinny. The puppy, the dog. Yes. Is yes. Yes. Puppy is a dog. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bob. Bob is a man. Yes. Okay. Paul's uh, uh, Paul's best friend is uh, is Bob. Paul's uh, uh, his best friend is Bob. So I think. Okay. So. <laughs> so this, is, this is the situation. There's a guy named Paul, and Paul has a puppy named Vinny, and Vinny is lost. And another guy, Bob, his best friend found Vinny. It's too complicated. <laughs> Bob is very best friend found Paul's puppy Vinny. So the puppy's name is Vinny? The puppy's name is Vinny, that's right. And who owns the puppy? Bob's best friend. Uh, Paul. Paul. Paul owns the puppy. Ah, Vinny okay. is Paul's dog. That's right. Vinny is Paul's dog. <laughs> oh, my sentences are too confusing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Paul's best friend found. Oh my God. Yeah, Paul's, yeah, yeah, Bob's very best friend. Maladin still can't see the text. Okay, Maladin, I'll put the answers, Maladin, I'll put the answers on uh, the YouTube, okay? <coughs> so I'm going to YouTube right now, and I'll put the answers up there. Just like a buzzer.
Hello, everybody. It is Friday. Be quiet. Uh, oh, why isn't this working? Nothing's working. Oh, this is not cool. Uh, let me see here. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Uh, uh, I'll send them up there in a second. I, I do not need problems when I'm trying to teach. Why isn't his uh, chat working? Right now I'm editing at the same time. Everybody will like that I put the answers though. Oops, very nice frame. Oh, balls, puppy beanie. Okay. Yeah, very good. Oh, I still got too much shirt. <laughs> All right. Uh, <coughs> let me see. Who am I talking to again? Um, Miladin. Yes, I am here. Yeah, Miladin, if you go to uh, our <coughs> channel. And uh, if you look at uh, FNL Friday Night Live video in the information box, I put the answers there. Can you double check there? Oh, did Maladin leave? <laughs> uh, he's back. He's back. Okay, Maladin, you have to check on the other channel. You don't have to close the, the window, though, okay? Yeah. All right, you check on the Friday Night Live, the other video, down below, I put the answers. So now everybody can, can see the answers. Uh, that's okay. fine, that's fine. Okay, so once again, uh, t this sentence uh, talks about the B and the V and the F and the P sound, and sometimes students have a difficult time. Let me hear your pronunciations. Let me start with uh, Thomas again. Thomas, please, can you read it? So, Bob's very best friend from Post the P. Pini. Oh, excellent. Pa uh, where are you from, Thomas? Um, from France. From France. So, yeah. your French is perfect. I guess. <laughs> so, the B, the B and the P and the F sound is no problem in France. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, Niaz, where are you from, Niaz? Uh, do you remember David in your ah, conversations? David Ross, with, yes. With helicopter. So you're the helicopter friend? <laughs> no, I don't have helicopter like him. <laughs> we are both from Kazakhstan. From Kazakhstan, great, great. Yes. Uh, your English is really good. Thank you. Why? Because I want to be a teacher. Oh, that's great. Do you want to be an English teacher? Yes, I want to be especially an English teacher. Oh, that's great. You'll be just like Durgam and myself. <laughs> All right, Niaz, please read the sentence. Bob's very best friend found Paul's puppy Winnie. There you go. Paul's puppy Vinny. 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 Vinny? There you go. It's a Bob's V. Bob's very Vinny. best friends found Paul's puppy Winnie. Winnie. Not Winnie, Vinny. Vinny. There you go. That's right. Now remember, when we use the word B-O-B, -B, uh, the American pronunciation is Bob. 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 It's not Bob. Bob. Bob would be a little bit British. So, you know, British English is great. American English is great. But I recommend that you pick one, not both. Like not both pronunciations. Everybody, okay? Okay, okay. Miladin. Miladin is gone. Durgam, it's your turn. Okay, Bob's very best friend on Bob's Bobby Vinny. Durgam, you sound like a guy from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you always. Tell me this. Yeah, you do, you do. Daniel, go for it. Bob's very best friend found Paul's puppy Vinny. Not too bad. Uh, Paul's, Paul's. Now, once again, P A U L. This is actually a Paul's. Paul's. It's an A W sound. Try that again, Daniel. Paul's. Paul's. One more time, Daniel. Paul's? 
There you go. Pause. Pause. There you go. There you go. That sounded great. Great job. Carlos. Bob's very best friend found Paul's Papi Vini. Once again, Paul's, not Paul's, but Paul's. The sound is... Paul's. Yeah. You have to understand the difference between these two sounds, Paul's and Paul's. And American pronunciation, this name, P-A-U-L, sounds like Paul, Paul, P-A-W-L, Paul. All right. Try again. Paul. Bob's very best friend found Paul's Papi Vini. That's much better. Paul's Papi Vini. Paul's Papi Vini. That sounds really good. Do you guys know how to make the AW sound? Oh. oh. Like a, uh, oh. Uh, okay. Oh. I'll, I'll make a picture. I'll make a picture. Uh, Australian. Yeah, hold on a second. This is. Uh, Like a uh, look. Like oh, can a you look. See this? Can you see this picture? This is yeah. this is your mouth, okay? This is your uh, bottom teeth, and this is your upper teeth, okay? Yes. Okay. Now, if you go down here, this is uh, this is really hard, uh, but then it gets really soft right here, right? Yes. So the skin, the skin is very soft down here. Okay, it's really soft. You have to put your tongue right there. So I'll point. I'll make a picture. Oh, oh. Yeah. So you have to put your tongue right in the soft part and open. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys, try uh, and remember this. It's actually uh, very important. A uh, lot of English uh, words, a lot of American words <coughs> have the A-W sound, which makes it pretty tricky. Let me, let me move to Bear Santo Reyes. Go for it, Bear. Bob's very best friend from... Bear, are you there? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, Bear's got a picture. <laughs> Bob's very best friend found Paul's puppy Vinny. Bob's Great very job. best friend found uh, Bob's very best best friend found found Paul's puppy Vinny. Again. <laughs> Bob's very best friend found Paul's puppy Vinny. Is that the puppy Vinny? Yes, it's the puppy Vinny. <laughs> Vinny looks like <laughs> a Artin, welcome back, Artin. Hello, how are you? Great, great. Alton, can you try the sentence? Yes. Bob's very best friend found Paul's puppy Vinny. What was the first word again? Bob's very best friend found Paul's puppy Vinny. Very good, very good. Is somebody washing dishes right now? Who's washing dishes? <laughs> <coughs> All right, Alberto, go for it. Okay. Bob's very best friend found called Papi Vini. That's no problem. You guys are too good. This is not fun for me. I want difficult sentences. Difficult sentences. All right. Let's try the next one. I'm going to give you the answers. I'm giving you the answers. Did you just say there's a yellow cheat in the zoo drinking Jamba Juice? Wow. <laughs> Did you just say there's a yellow cheat in the zoo drinking Jamba Juice? Okay, Alberto, you go first. Yeah, yeah. This okay. is the easiest one. Did you just did you just say there's a yellow shit in the suit drinking a jamba juice? What? <laughs> <laughs> a yellow shit in the suit? What? One more time. <laughs> did you just say there's a yellow shit in the suit drinking a jamba juice? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, a yellow Cheater. Cheater. A yellow cheater. Cheater? Cheater. cheater. Where it's is like there? A like a tiger? Oh, uh, no, that's a cheetah. Uh, I'm sorry, a cheetah. Yes, a cheetah. C-H-E-E-T-A-H. -E -E it's like a tiger. That's right, a tiger. Very similar to a tiger. It's very yeah. fast. It's the fastest animal 
in the world, the land animal. That's right, the fastest yeah. land animal. We did a daily you dictation. Brought, uh, Cheetah. Yeah, you yeah, brought it in your daily dictation. That's right, that's right. Sakami squats. Yes. So, Alberto, a yellow cheetah. Yellow cheetah. In the zoo. In the zoo. Drinking jamba juice. Drinking jamba juice. Jamba juice, not jamba juice. Jamba juice. <laughs> no? That's good. That was actually very good. Do you know what jamba juice is? It's a kind, no. of, uh, kind of a drink. That's right. It's a uh, name brand. It's a name just, brand. Uh, what juice. is jamba juice? Uh, juice usually in North America uh, from treats or I don't know. That's right. Yeah, it's a it's a name of a store like you know McDonald's, Burger King, Jamba Juice. But at Jamba Juice, they only sell different types of juice. Yeah. But it's ridiculously expensive. It's very, very expensive. Never go there. <laughs> they don't have Jamba Juice. They don't have Jamba Juice in Iraq? Uh, in Egypt, there is a oh, Jamba sorry. Juice. No, no, okay, okay. Let me go to Alton. Alton, give me the sentence, please. Did you just say that there is a yellow cheetah in the zoo drinking Jamba Juice? Very good. No problem with that sentence. Uh, bear, Santa, raisin. Did you just say there's a yellow cheetah in the zoo drinking jamba juice? Wow. Thank you for the pictures. We want the pictures. Say it again a couple times, please. Uh, did you just did you just say there's a yellow cheetah in the zoo drinking jamba juice? Did you just say there's a yellow cheetah in the zoo drinking jamba juice? Are you American? No, I'm not. <laughs> How come your English is so good? I took your lessons for a long time. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I practice a lot. Very good, very good. Your pictures, the pictures are great. Next time, I apologize. Next time, I will prepare pictures like that. Carlos. Did you, <clears throat> did you just say there's a yellow cheetah in the Zoom drinky jamba juice? Oh, very good, very good. Daniel. Did you just say there's a yellow cheetah in the zoo drinking jamba juice? Jamba juice? Jamba juice. Excellent. Durgam. Mm -hmm. Did you just say there is a yellow cheetah in the zoo drinking jamba juice? Did you Great. just say there is a yellow cheetah in the zoo drinking jamba juice? Very good, very good. Miladin. Yes. <laughs> Did you just say there is a yellow cheetah in the zoo drinking jamba juice? Excellent job, excellent job. <laughs> Niaz. Did you just say there is a yellow cheetah in the zoo drinking jamba juice? Wow, another American. <laughs> that's like, I think, uh, San Francisco. That's great. Hello, everybody. <laughs> quiet, Shane. Okay, uh, Thomas. Did you just say there is a yellow cheetah in the zoo drinking jamba juice? Very good. Jumbo juice. Uh, in America, we say jamba. Jamba. Yeah, a little bit more open. Jamba. 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 There you go. Jamba juice. Great job. Very good. Uh, you guys understand the stupid sentence? It's a silly sentence. Let me give you the next sentence. Another yes. goofy sentence. Oh, Durgam, you're quick. Very good, Durgam. Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly, shiny days. Shane says zebras change stripes on silly. Blah, 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 blah. Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly, shiny days. It's difficult for me too. So, what does this sentence mean? Um, what's a chilly day? Very cold day. Shiny. What's a shiny day? Shiny day is a scorcher. Uh, no, shiny would be a sunshiny. Sunshiny. Sunny. Yeah. There you go. So it's a sunny, cold day. A sun sunny, sunny, cold day. Change the stripes. That's right. Zebras change stripes. The white stripes become black, and the black stripes become white. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. 
No. <laughs> Very good. Let me start with Thomas this time. Thomas, can you read the sentence, please? I don't know. Um, Shane says zebras change scripts on chilly, chi chilly shiny days. <laughs> okay, we got you that time. Uh, everything was good. Shane says zebras change stripes. Stripes. Right. There you go. The American pronunciation is stripes. On chilly, shiny days. So Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly, shiny days. Chilly, shiny days. <laughs> chilly, shiny, shiny days. days. It is. <laughs> One more time. Hey, Thomas, the end. There you go. That was good. Good job, Thomas. Uh, Niaz, go for it. So from San Francisco. Yeah, there you go. Zebras change stripes on chilly, shiny days. Oh, very good. Chilly, shiny days. <laughs> That's not easy. Muladin. Yeah. Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly, shiny days. On chilly, shiny days. Chilly, shiny days. On chilly, shiny days. Great, I liked it. Uh, Durga. <coughs> Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly shiny day. No Shane problem, says, Daniel. Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly shiny days. Uh, this is too easy for you guys. Carlos. Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly shiny days. Chilly shiny days. Chilly shiny days. Great job. Bear Santa Raisin with your picture. Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly shiny days. Shane <laughs> says zebras change stripes on chilly shiny days. I chilly love the picture. Chilly shiny, the sh sh chilly shiny days. <laughs> there you go. Chilly shiny days. One more chilly time the picture. Slowly. Uh, sh Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly shiny days. Oh, excellent pictures. I have to hire you as a graphic artist. <laughs> Shane. Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly, shiny days. Very good, very good. And Alberto? Shane says zebras change stripes on chilly, shiny days. Shane says zebras. Shane says zebras change now remember, stripes on chilly, wait, wait, shiny days. Wait, wait, wait. Remember. We don't say says, we says says. Okay? Says, says. Yes. So let me rewrite that. S E Z. The sound is like says. So Shane says zebras. Shane says zebras. Change stripes. Change stripes on chilly shiny days. That was good. That was good. Bless you, Daniel. Thanks. Says. Gazoom tight. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, salud. Oh, that's Spanish. How do I say it? In, how do I say it in Portuguese? Uh, saúde. Saúde. How do I say it in French? Salut. Salut. What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. How do I say it in Kazakhstan? Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, Hasta no. Luego. no. <laughs> Hasta luego. Hasta la maleta. Oh, it's very difficult. Okay, let me go to the next one. You guys are... Uh, okay, this is a good one. How can I say it in English? Bless you. Bless you. No, 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 no. What, what, what I did? You sneezed. You sneezed. I sneezed. Sneezed. I sneezed. That's right. Okay. And then you spread your germs everywhere. Ah, yeah. <laughs> ah, oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number five. Assalamu alaikum. Ah, thank you. Best, thank you. Best for you. You are on the other side of the planet. Yeah, exactly. I'm safe. <laughs> All right, number five. Wow, Durgam, great job. Very good. I'm very impressed. Girls around the world really like their steak rare rather than well done. <laughs> so, uh, Alberto, do you like steak? Yes. 
how do you like your steak done? Mm. Uh, steak is a is a meat. Yes, it's the beef. Yes, beef. How do you like your steak done? What does that mean? How do you when like? You go, when you, you go like to a to restaurant, when you go to a restaurant, they usually give you three choices. You can have your steak rare, medium, or well, well done. Done. Cooked. Okay. That's right. Talking about cooking, cooking the steak. How would you like your steak cooked, or or we just say how how do you like your steak? Yeah. Okay. Well done is so, is. So rare rare means it's still blood. You can see the blood dripping out. Medium, wow. it's average cooked and well done. It's very well cooked. It's brown and maybe even the edges are slightly burnt. Okay. How do, how do you like your steak, Alberto? Mm, medium. Medium. Okay. What about you, uh, Alton? Alton. I like, yes. I like a uh, well well done cooking. Well done. Well done. What about you, Bear Santa Raisin? I like my steak completely well done. Completely well done. Yeah, I Black. don't like want any blood. No blood. No blood. Blood is very good <coughs> for you. What about Carlos? Well, uh, I would prefer well done. A more well done. Wow, Daniel. Well done. Well, it depends on the kind of meat. If it yes. is pork. <laughs> If it's not pork, it, not pork, it's beef, it's beef, it's a steak. When we say steak... Oh, okay, medium. Yeah. Medium. Me medium. Okay. okay, Durgam? I prefer it well done. Well done. Mladen? Yeah. I also prefer well done steak. Everybody's well done. Niaz, Niaz. I like when my mother does it. No matter how, but I like it. <laughs> no matter what, when mom does it. You're a good son. And what about Thomas? Uh, well, I like it grody. Really grody. Rare. Rare. Yeah. Actually, Thomas, me too. I like my steak rare. Rare. I like the, I like the blood yes. coming out my cheeks. <laughs> you are a vampire. Especially in Halloween. Yes, it's perfect for a vampire on Halloween. That's right. <laughs> okay, let me hear this sentence. Girls around the world really like their steak rare rather than well done. Let's go with uh, Thomas first, please. So, girls around the world really like their steak rare rather than well done. Uh, excellent job, excellent job. Uh, Niaz, Niaz. Girls around the world really like their steak rare rather than they well done. Very good. Miladin. A, a little bit slow, but... Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Girls... Around the world, really like they stick rare rather than well done. <clears throat> Excellent job, Durga. Girls around the world really like their stick rare rather than well done. What? One more time. Girls around the world really like their stick rare rather than well done. <laughs> you are the fastest English speaker, <laughs> Daniel. Girls around the world really like their steak rare, rather than well done. Not too bad. When you say rather, be careful with the TH, Daniel. Rather. <coughs> rather. Rather than. Great job. Great job. Rather than. The excellent. Carlos. Girls around the world really like their steak rare, rather than well done. Very good. Steak, steak. The spelling, the sound is the same as S T A K E. Steak. All right, steak. That's right. And remember, when we talk about steak, it means beef. Beef. Alton. Girls around the world really like their steak rare rather than well done. Excellent. And Alberto. Girls around the world really like their steak. Ra rare rather than well done. That's right, very good. Can you say it quickly? 
girls around the world really like their steak rare rather than well done. Very good. I thought this would be difficult. I guess uh, I teach English in South Korea, and these sentences are very difficult for my students in South Korea, but you guys are doing really, really well. I'm very impressed. Well, let's go move to the next one. Number six, I gave five violets to my friend Veronica for Valentine's. Oh, I skipped bear. I'm sorry. Bear. Bear. Go ahead. Bear. <laughs> um... Okay. Girls around the world really like their steak rare rather than well done. Rare rather than well done. <laughs> I like the pictures. <laughs> two, two more times, please. Uh, girls around the world really like their steak rare rather than rather than well done. <coughs> girls around the world really like their steak rare rather than well done. Excellent job. Very good. Thank you for the great graphics, too. The rare rather bit is difficult. Rare yeah, rather. rare rather than. Rare rather than. Yep. The R's and THs, they're tough. That's why we call it a tongue twister. Yeah. Number six, I gave five violets. Now, in this, the V and the F sounds are very different in American English. What about in France? Are they different in France, Thomas? Uh, no, it's not. Very similar? Yeah. Let me hear you say the sentence, Thomas. Um, so, I gave five violets to my friend Veronica for Valentine's. Yeah, no problem. Once again, you have a little bit of a New Jersey accent. Oh, really? <laughs> could, you, could you tell me a sentence uh, with this accent? Just to... uh, <laughs> no, I cannot. I'm teasing you, Thomas. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let me hear uh, from Niaz. Is it Niaz or Niaz? Niaz, Niaz. Niaz, I'm sorry, Niaz. I gave five violets to my friend Veronica for Valentine's. There you go. Do you have a girlfriend, Niaz? No. No, why not? <laughs> it will cost me a lot. You're a very smart man. Yes, women are very expensive. Thomas, do you have a girlfriend? Oh, no. <laughs> I have not. No girlfriend, so you're saving money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miladin, say the sentence, please. I gave five violets to my friend Veronica for Valentine's. Very good. Valentine's Day. When we say the word violets, usually we say violets. Violets. Okay. But we can also say violets. That's possible, too. Do you guys know what violets are? Yes. Oh. Flower. That's right. It's a type of flower. What color is it? Violet. Violet. <laughs> Violet. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. it's purple. We can say purple too. That's right. It's violet. <laughs> Durgum, what you got? Okay, I gave five violets to my friend Veronica for Valentine. Valentine Z. Get the S one more time. I gave five violets to my friend Veronica for Valentine. You do not sound like you're very nice when you give the violets to Val to Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, go for it. I gave five violets to my friend Veronica for Valentine's. Excellent job. Do they celebrate Valentine's Day in Brazil? Yes. Is it the same February 14th? No. It's oh. in... No, no. It's in June or July. I, I don't remember. Oh, July. wow. So it's a totally different time. Okay. Carlos. Mm -hmm. Well, I gave five violets to my friend, Veronica, for Valentine's. Very good, very good. Bear Santa Raisin? I gave five violets to my friend, Veronica, for Valentine's. I gave five violets to my friend, Veronica, for Valentine's. Your pictures are fantastic. Thank you. I like violets. Yes. They're very yeah. beautiful. <laughs> very beautiful. Violets and roses. There you go. We, we all want to send violets and roses to Bear Santa Raisin Day. Oh, thank you. That's <laughs> very sweet. Nobody sends me any flowers. Aww. Alton, go for it. I gave five violets to my friend Veronica for Valentine's. Very good. The American pronunciation, Veronica, we say Veronica, Veronica, Veronica. 
Okay, Alberto. I gave five violets to my friend Veronica for Valentine's. Excellent job. This is too easy. I'm I'm embarrassed. Next time I have to make a better lesson. Sentence number seven. <laughs> peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers bacon <laughs> with his peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys like peanut butter? Yes. <laughs> Only Bear Santa Raisin likes peanut butter. <laughs> with peanut butter with jelly. Peanut butter with jelly. There you go. Uh, Thomas, do you like peanut butter? Uh, not really, no. I don't like no. Uh, everything which is nuts or... You know what I mean? Uh, are a kid? <laughs> yes, right. Do, do you like pizza? Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite pizza? Uh, seafood. 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 Okay. Yeah. Do you like bacon? Yeah, I do. Yeah, me too. I like bacon too. <laughs> Give me the sentence there, Thomas. Oh, it's gonna be a mess. Uh, peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefer bacon with his peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, now, what's interesting is uh, with the P and the B sound, there's a difference, and I I I, I call it the tissue test. Okay, when we, when we do the P. The sound really pushes the tissue, and when we do the B, it doesn't push. So, so watch me. I, I take the tissue and I, I put it on my nose, and I say, P, 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 P. And when I say the B, it goes B, 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 P, 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 B, 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 B. So you can test yourself with a piece of tissue. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. That's what I want you to do. I want you to do the same thing. Now, let me go to Niaz. Niaz, go for it. Peanut butter. Ah, peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni. Ah, goodness. Second with his peanut butter. Ah, hold on a second. Um, let me see. Niaz, do you have a piece of tissue? Yes, I have. Yeah, get a tissue. I want to. Uh, let's try it again. Now, watch me. Watch me. Peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy <laughs> prefers bacon with his peanut butter. Yeah, not. Yeah, not. This is not easy. It's not easy. That's okay. You did pretty good though. But I want when you have time later on. I want you to test again. Okay. 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 Good. Maladin. Peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers bacon with his peanut butter. That was really good. Uh, Maladin, where are you from? I'm from Croatia. You're, Croatia. You're, yes. Oh, that's great. It sounds really good. Your P's and B's sound very, very good. Let me go to Durgam. Peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers bacon with his, with his peanut butter. What? <laughs> peanut... <laughs> oh, my God. Peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers bacon with his peanut butter. <laughs> Durgam, that sounds really good, but how do you know that Billy prefers bacon with his peanut butter? <laughs> Excellent <laughs> job. <laughs> Daniel Barbo. Uh, peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers bacon with his <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, me, now, let me ask you, Daniel, do you like peanut butter? I love, I love peanut. And I love peanut butter. Do you like peanut butter with pizza and pepperoni? No. Uh, pear. <laughs> Pears. No. 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 Let me. Let me. Uh, let me write down. And you. Okay. And you. And you read for me. You bet. A pear. Ah, you mean. You mean just straight? You mean only peanut butter? Yes. Okay, so we don't say how, pure. Uh, yeah. How can I say this word? Straight. Straight. 
Yeah, I like peanut butter straight. Okay, but how can I pronunciate pure? Yeah, okay. What when you said it it sounded like pure, okay? But you should say pure, pure, pure. pure. No, pure. a little bit pew, pew, pew. Pure. There you go, pure. Pure. There you go. Good, 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 okay. good. But when uh, I when when I eat peanut butter better. alone, I say straight. That's right. So you eat it straight. It's straight. Okay. What not about gay? It's not gay. Straight. <laughs> That's right. You 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 are gay, but your peanut butter is straight. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Carlos. <clears throat> Are you there, Carlos? Yes, I'm here. I thought you were sleeping. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Can you speak here another one? Ah, peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, oh, but Bill, what? Peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers bacon with his peanut butter. That's actually pretty good. Carlos, why is your camera not working today? My camera is gone. <laughs> what happened? What happened? I don't know. It's broken. <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe you did not, maybe you did maybe. not wash your hair. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I have to download its drivers. I see. I see. I see. Good. Anyway, it's good to have you. Uh, Bear Santa Raisin, I see you have pictures, so say it a, several times for us slowly and quickly, please. Yeah. Peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers bacon with his peanut butter. Peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers bacon with his peanut butter. Peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers bacon with his peanut butter. Outstanding. And once again, I, the pictures are great. I heard that uh, Elvis liked his sandwich with uh, bacon and peanut butter with bananas. Is that right? Oh my God, Elvis Presley! I I think that's correct. Bacon, bananas, and peanut butter—a sandwich. Yes. yes, that's called El Elvis sandwich, I think. The Elvis. That's why he got really, really fat. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, sorry, uh, Alton. Yes, peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers bacon with his peanut butter. No, 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 no. Alton, do you have a piece of tissue? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Alton, I want you to. Oh, good, good, good. Let's try. Let's try. Peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but beer. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> That's okay, Alton. Alton, yes. the next time you go to, uh, if you have some tissue, it has to be really light. It has to be very light, not paper. Uh, <laughs> but then try it. The P and the B. P and no, B. No, he's very strong. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it's very strong. <laughs> Alberto, yeah. go for it. Okay. Peanut butter is better with pizza and pepperoni, but Billy prefers with his peanut butter. I like it. I thought it was going to be difficult for you today. You're doing great. Hmm. All right. Next sentence. Are you guys ready? Yes. That's the tiny thirsty sloth Dave told Diane during their tap class tent. That's the tiny thirsty sloth Dave told Diane about during their tap class today. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> Tap dance was very difficult. Tap dance. Yeah, this is tough. Do you guys know what a sloth is? It's not an animal. Lazy, lazy, lazy beer. There you go. I'll find, ah, yes, but I want the animal. Uh, I'll give you a picture. Screen share. Here you go. Do you see this picture? 
This animal is called a sloth, S-L-O-T-H. I think there's a three-toed sloth and a two-toed sloth. Do, do you guys know? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Kind of scary. Slow. <clears throat> but the sloth animal, it moves very, very slow, okay? So that's the tiny, thirsty sloth Dave mm. told Diane about during their tap dance class. What's tap dance? Dancing class tap. Oh. Wow. Wow. That was great. Amazing. <laughs> Alberto, you're a beatbox. <laughs> again, again, Alberto. Again, please. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> 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 Very good. Alberto, please read the sentence. That's the tiny, thirsty sloth they told Diane about during their tap dance class today. Very good, very good. Thank you, Alton. Very good. That was very good. You guys are, are, are too good. I'm, I'm actually very sad. Uh, we got room for one more. Maybe somebody else can come in if somebody's watching. Bear Santa Raisin, go for it. Um, that's the tiny, thirsty sloth Dave told Diane about during their tap dance class today. That's the tiny, thirsty sloth Dave told Diane about during their tap dance class today. Okay. One more time, slow. That's the tiny, thirsty sloth Dave told Diane about during their tap dance class today. Excellent job, excellent job. You got a nice picture there of a tap, class, uh, tap, tap dance, dance class. class. Yeah, I can't say it. Tap dance, I can't say it. Thank Carlos! That's the tiny, twisty sloth David told that. <laughs> it's difficult. It is. Let me try, let me help you. Let me help you. That's the tiny. That's the tiny. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Thirsty. Sloth. Sloth. Dave told Diane about. Dave told Diane about. During their tap dance class. During their tap dance class. Today. today. One more time. That's the tiny twisty slot they've told Diana about during their tap dance class today. Great job, great job. Let me move to Daniel. <clears throat> That's the tiny thirsty slot they've told Diane about during the tap dance class today. Very good. D's and T's and THs. This is not easy. Uh, Miladin. That's the tiny, thirsty sloth Dave told Diane about during their tap dance class today. Good. Now, uh, Miladin, you have to be careful with the TH. So the first TH, mm, there's some vibration. That's. That's. Good. Thirsty. With thirsty, it's just a lot of air. It's an aspirated. There's a lot of air. Thirsty. 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 Good, Thirsty. good, good. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, sloth. Milan. Sloth. Sloth. Good. One more time, please, Miladin. That's the tiny. Thirsty sloth. They told Diane about during their tap dance class today. Much, much better, much better. Good job. Niaz. Here we go. The, the tiny source is slow. Hey, Diane, about during their tap dance class today. One more time. Be careful with thirsty. One more time. The, the tiny thirsty slow they told Diane about during their tap dance class today. Good. You did good with thirsty, but sloth. 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 Yeah. Now, what, what I can tell Niaz. Be careful with the TH because sometimes it almost sounds like an S, okay? Okay, okay. Good, good. And Vicodin, hello. Hello. Como estas? Bien. Good, good. Do you have this? <laughs> what about you? <laughs> yes. Um, Go for it. That was really odd. What, what all, number? We're number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Uh, that's the tiny first slot they told Diane about during their tap dance class today. No problems. 
Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next one I know uh, Vikodin will like. I think he'll like. Oops. Uh, I think he'll like the next sentence. <clears throat> Pink Floyd's fans prefer a powerful bass to fluffy pop. Come again? Pink Floyd's fans prefer a powerful bass to fluffy pop. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a tough one. Do you guys know Pink Floyd? I know, uh, uh, do you guys all know Pink Floyd? Yes. Yeah. Daniel, Pink you like Floyd. Pink Floyd, right? Yes, of course. Yes, me too. Yeah, Pink Floyd's You know good. what? Do you guys know why did Pink Floyd name like that? Why? <laughs> because it was Pink Floyd was the name of the true blues man. Yes, yeah, true American, true American blues, true American uh, blues man, true uh, American musicians. Blues man. Okay, yeah. so like it was Pink and Floyd. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah they, they picked Pink for from a guy and Floyd for another guy. Oh, I didn't know that. Kind of John yeah. Pinky and Matthew's flight. <laughs> well, I, I don't exactly remember the, na the, uh, the whole I, name. Yes. You guys yeah. know your music history very, very well. well yes. Yeah, I'm sure. We have, uh, uh, what's your favorite Pink Floyd song? Do you know any offhand? Comfortably uh, enough. What Shine that? On my, no. what, what was that? Shine on, no, Shine on Crazy Diamond? China and Crazy Diamond. That's what. China and oh. Crazy Diamond. Niaz, do you know Pink Floyd? Uh, I heard. You've heard? Yes, I heard. Yeah, it's a it's a rock band from a long time ago. Miladin, do you know Pink Floyd? Yes, I know. Do you like any Pink Floyd songs? Uh, yes, but. I don't uh, remember any songs. <coughs> you don't remember the name? At the, moment. At the moment. That's okay, that's okay. David, hi David. Oh, Shane. Do you see my hat collection? <laughs> yes, I'm a patient. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> David, do you know Pink Floyd? Uh, yes, I listen to... Do you have a favorite song? No, I... I... No, no, I'm not. Not a favorite. Okay, D Daniel, what's your favorite? Oh, guy, a lot. I could say I love the dark side of the moon. Oh, great the, album. the full, yeah. the full album. Yeah, the full album is great. I agree. Carlos. Uh, I don't know what this band. You don't. You don't know the band. No. Okay, that's okay. It's an old band. It's an old band. Bear Santa Raisin. Yes, I like the song Comfortably Numb. Oh, that's my favorite. Comfortably Numb. Great yes. song. Yeah. My hands felt too like, or my hands felt like two balloons. Like two balloons. There you go. Ah, great. A dope, it's a dope song for you. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Alberto. Yes. What's your favorite Pink Floyd song? The yeah. Wall. <laughs> Yeah, the wall is great. Actually, I like the wall, of the album, and I like the movie too. Uh, it's a, it's a really another good... break in the wall. Is just... Money it's and time classic. is fantastic. Are great. Money and time. Money, Mo the song called Money. Money. Money is great. And time. And the song is a, another break in the wall. Is his name? No? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, another the, break in the wall. Yeah. The the words of time are great in terms of English and in terms of for itself, too. Okay, I'll check that out. I do know the song "Money." Money is a great song. I'll check out. I'll check out time. Time, yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, worth, it's worth. Okay, cool. Uh, let me hear uh, Alberto. Go for it. Pink Floyd's fans prefer powerful bass to floppy pop. <laughs> okay, we got you on this one. Pink Floyd's fans. Pink Floyd's. Fans prefer prefer powerful bass. Powerful bass. Right. The sound is B A S E. Bass. 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 Okay. What is bass? What is bass? Uh, the strong sounds. 
the bass guitar. Boom, Usually boom, the bass guitar. It could be the bass drum or the bass guitar. Bass line. In this in this case is the uh, instrument. That's right. There's two. There's the, we got a bass drum and there's a bass guitar. Do you know that? Do you know that? Yes. This is like a dun dun dun. That's right. It's a lower sounding. Yeah, they have it in classical yeah. music, but also in rock and roll too. Yeah. In jazz yeah. is very important. Too. In jazz is very important. That's right. Alberto, yeah. one more time, please. Uh, and then, and then I'm sorry. To fluffy pop, fluffy pop. To fluffy pop. Yeah. What does that mean, fluffy pop? What does fluffy pop mean? I think it's uh, uh, pop. Maybe stupid. she's pop. <laughs> yes. It's kind of plastic. Like uh, stupid? Yeah. Yes. Moronic? Stupid, plastic, and did you Moronic. say shitty? Moronic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bubble yeah. gum. Another word that we say is bubble gum. Bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like little kids, like middle school students, and, and maybe some high school students like the pop music, like. Uh, uh, Jason Bieber and and uh, Britney Spears. That's oh that's gosh. fluffy pop. Yeah, that's fluffy not, pop. Yeah. Not so sad. That's sad. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's a different genre. That's for sure. Oh my okay. God. Alberto, one more time. Okay. Pink Floyd fans prefer powerful ba bass bass. Yep. Bass. Bass wow. to fluffy pop. Excellent job. Much, much Pink, better. Pink Let's Floyd's go. fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop. Excellent job. Very good, Alberto. Much better than before. Bear, Santa Raisin, go for it. Pink Floyd's fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop. Pink Floyd's <laughs> fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop. And there's Justin Bieber. Just, Excellent yeah. job. That Santa is on fire with the pictures. Yep. <laughs> like pictures. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Great. Carlos! Pink Floyd fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop. Very good. Carlos, do you like music? Yes, I like it. What kind of music do you like? Poppy rock, uh, country. Hmm, funky. But you like country? <laughs> yes, country. Country what? music. Do you, now, when you, when you say country music, do you mean American country music or country music no. where you're from Brazilian music Brazilian, Brazilian country music that's <laughs> great <Spanish instrument. laughs> Bo Bossa Nova Bossa Nova is fantastic it's fantastic genre Bossa Nova that's that's popular Bossa Nova is from Nova. Brazil yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of a jazz it, it yes. has a, a jazz touch Carlos Jobim the composed all the good songs Carlos yeah. Jobim no, Tom Jobim. Tom Jobim. Tom Jobim or Antonio Carlos Jobim, is that right? Yes, know. yes. Tom Jobim. Oh. Sergio Mendes. Sergio Mendes. It's wonderful. Too. Sergio, Sergio Mendes. Mendes. Yeah. Sergio Mendes. Mendes. Wow, yeah, you guys yes. know your music. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Daniel, let me hear you. Uh, Pink Floyd's fan prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop. pop. Very good. <laughs> Very good, but fans, I need the S one more time. Pink Floyd's fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop. Very good, very good. David, go for it. Pink Floyd's fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop. Why are you speaking so fast to me? One more time. Pink Floyd's fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop. Good job. Remember, powerful bass. Powerful bass. Powerful bass. Good, bass. good. <laughs> we have Fabio. Hello, Fabio. Hello, Shane. Nice to meet you. My pleasure nice to meet you guys. Welcome, welcome. Fabio, do you have the script? Do you have the answers? Welcome, Fabio. Shane, I'm, I'm confused here. I just have the this uh, this this scream that I, I saw everybody here. But okay. I, uh, good afternoon from Brazil. <laughs> okay, Fabio, can you, if you look on the side, do you see the chat button? Chat button. Be chat. Uh, Fabio, I'm, I'm 
Where are you from, Fabio? I'm from Brazil. Brazil. Daniel, I... can you explain to him the chat button? Okay. Você está vendo aí do lado o o, o chat? Fábio, você está vendo do lado aí, tem um, tem um chat? Tem um chat na sua tela? Oh, I, I think so. Let, let me see. Então, oh, yes. Então, I got tudo, it now. Thank you. É, tudo que está sendo dito, está sendo escrito aí no, no chat do lado. Então, sure, a gente está lendo... It. A gente está lendo algumas frases, a gente está na oitava. Pink Floyd's fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop, ok? Ok, Daniel, Thank, thanks a lot, I got it, okay. thank you. Great, wow, great. Daniel, you're really lovely really, really, really. <laughs> today. This is such a great family. Fabio, let me hear you read the sentence, please. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, ok, Shane? I will try, ok? Pink Floyd's fans prefer powerful bass, bass. To flat Very Bass. good. Very Bass. good. B A S S. Once again, th this okay. is interesting. The word the word B A S S has a couple meanings, and one is a fish. There's a fish called a bass. Bass. But then there's bass. the musical instrument called a bass. A bass. And the spelling is the same, so it can be confusing. Wow. Okay, Miladin. Let me hear you, Miladin. Okay. Pink Floyd's fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop bass. Uh, very good, very good. Let me write it one more time. One more time, Miladin. Pink Floyd's fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop. Excellent job. Wonderful. Oh, we just lost somebody. Uh, Vicodin, go for it. There we go. So, uh... I'm going to read here. Oh, thank you. Pink Floyd's fans prefer pop. Oh, I lost it. Anyway, <laughs> give me a minute. Give me a second. Uh, Pink Floyd's fans prefer powerful bass to fluffy pop. Excellent job, Vicodin. No problem at all. <laughs> uh, fluff, fluffy pop, I love. Sounds a lot of fun. Fluffy pop. Yeah. yeah well. Fluffy pop. Yeah. The the word sounds sounds funny. Yeah. I could spend I could spend all day fluffy pop fluffy pop fluffy pop. <laughs> yes, David. Uh, but Justin Bieber is fluffy pop. Oh okay. my god! Yeah, David, are you a Justin Bieber fan? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for for Justin Bieber fans. But I feel bad for Justin Bieber fans. Oh my Come on, God. Justin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, I'm Just, sorry. But... Hey, Justin Bieber's not baby, that bad. Baby. It's freaking cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> David, David, do it again. One more time, David. <laughs> baby, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. That's great. That's great. Uh, Marcos, welcome, Marcos. Marcos, can you hear me? Marcos, can you hear us? Oh, we can see you, Marcos, but we cannot hear you. So please check your microphone and let me go to the last sentence. We're already on the last sentence here. Pop it in here. We can see you. Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. <laughs> Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. You Adam, your your laughter your laughter <laughs> sounds today diabolic. My vashus, my vashus. Yeah, this is a tough one. I'll, I'll say it slowly. I'll say it slowly. Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. Wow. No. Burgundy. Could you put up the text for us? Vicky I'm sorry? Could you put up the text for us? Oh, I'll put it up again. It didn't go? Here you go. Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious, uh, vivacious, uh, vivacious uh, is possible too, burgundy velvet glove. Burgundy velvet glove. What does this sentence mean? Bob, Bob. I have no, I have no idea. Yeah, Vicky, Vicky, Gave Bob a gift. There you go. Vicky gave. Uh, Vicky is a woman, and she gave Bob a gift. That's right. A very vivacious. 
Burgundy. Burgundy. And its color is burgundy. That's right. The the burgundy color is, color. is burgundy. Color. And burgundy. what is the gift? A glove. A pair a of velvet, gloves. Velvet glove. Velvet glove. A velvet glove. That's right. A velvet glove. That's right. And a glove, of course, is something you put yeah. on your hand. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I want a three. Velvet. Velvet in Spanish was like I don't remember in Spanish. It's not good. Uh, Carlos Pelo. or Alberto, do you remember velvet in Spanish? I don't know what is velvet. Velvet is. Very soft. Very yeah. soft, yeah. Terciopelo. Creo que es como... Like, kind of... Kind of... Uh, I have like, no idea. I can find it, though. Velvet. Pitch, uh, kind of pitch... It's pitch a fabric. Peels. Very soft fabric. Terciopelo. Terciopelo. Oh, okay. Terciopelo. 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 Yeah, that's your <laughs> Okay, let me have uh, Baikudin. Please read the sentence. Yes. Uh, Vicky Bob Bob, a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. Excellent job. Great job. Maladin. Vicky Bob Bob, a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. Very good. The V's and V's are very good. Uh, I'm very Excuse impressed, me. Maladin. Excuse Marcos. Me. Yeah. Hello, Marcos. Hello. How are you? It's me and Brian here. Great. Thank you for joining us. Where are you from, Marcos? I'm from Brazil. Another guy from Brazil. Obrigado. Yeah, de nada. You're me charity here. I'm such a huge fan. I love your lesson. Oh, thank you very much. Marcos, do you have the sentences? Yeah. Please read it. Okay, I'll try. Vicky bought Ah, no, 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 no. Where, where, where is it? That's Vicky right. That's right. Bob. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> Vic bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. Excellent job. Glove. 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 Excellent glove. job. I'm very glove. impressed. Thank Fabio, you. it's your time. Okay. Uh, Shannon, thank you. Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. Correction, velvet please. Glove. Velvet glove. One more time, glove. Glove. Oh, there you go. Exactly. One more time, please, Fabio. Okay. Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet velvet hips velvet glove. There you go, Fabio. You have a great voice. <laughs> really? Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like a radio voice. I, I was just going to say you could yeah. be a radio DJ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> It really sounds good. I like the voice. David, yeah. go for it. <clears throat> I think you bought both a very efficient version of very glow. One more time. <clears throat> I think you bought back a very efficient version of very glow. Very good. I'm very impressed, David. And Daniel. Uh, Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. No problems at all. Carlos! Vicky bought Bobby a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. Burgundy velvet glove. Burgundy velvet glove. Very good. Bear Santa Raisin. Um, Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. Is that vivacious or vivacious? Yes, thank you. You can have two pronunciations, vivacious and vivacious. Both are possible, vivacious and vivacious. I think actually many people say vivacious, but I always say vivacious. Say it a couple more times, please. Vicky okay. Bob Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet cloth. Vicky Bob Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet velvet cloth. Velvet cloth. Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. Excellent, and the, is, the pictures are fantastic. Is Vicky uh, short for Victoria or what is That's it? right. Vicky is a woman's name, and it is short for Victoria. Bob is a guy's name, and it is short for Robert. Robert. Oh, right, right. Is, 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 is burgundy or burgundy? Burgundy. 
Burgundy. Burgundy. Burgundy. It's like your. It's like a, a red wine color. That's right, and we we call some wines Burgundy wine. Burgundy wine. Okay. That's right. Alberto. Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. One more time. Vicky bought Bob a very uh -oh, vivacious. <laughs> Vicky bought Bob a very vivacious burgundy velvet glove. There you go. That that would, last one was really good. That was really good. Very good. Well, you guys did a great job. These sentences were too easy for you guys. Yeah. If it's too easy, if it's too easy for well, me, then it, it's boring. Easy? I don't think so. It, it was easy. You don't think I, it was I, easy? I, I don't um, think so. It was easy. But it's just, they are hard to understand, but... Y yeah. It was yeah, bad. yeah. They're, to be honest, they're a little bit nonsense. The sentences are a little bit nonsense. Uh, but uh, uh, you did very well. You know, this is this is the thing. You guys have to help me because you are from uh, from all over the world. So, <clears throat> in your country, if there is a very difficult uh, pronunciation for you, if there is a tongue twister that is very difficult for you. Please let me know, and then in the future I can make some uh, some, some perhaps better lessons about pronunciation. Uh, my experience is mostly in South Korea, so I know about Korean and Asian students, but I don't know much about uh, Europe and uh, South America. So that's that's a little bit new for me. So please help me uh, with your pronunciation problems, and then I can create better lessons. Okay. 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 This, 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 this kinds of sentences or lines you can you can find you you can find perfectly on on a on a screen on a on a on a I don't know another I don't remember the word right now on a screenplay on a screenplay for, uh, uh, you can. You you can find this this kind of sentences on a, on a screen plane for for, a, for sitcoms or something like that. Right. Yeah, I in this situation I, I made these sentences, but yeah, you can find a lot of difficult and good sentences in screenplays, and we say transcripts, transcripts. Transcript. Ah, oh, okay. I, 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 thought, I, I, th I thought it was screenplays. Transcript. Screenplay is for movie and transcript is for sitcoms. Okay. I think for Bra Brazilians, the TH sound is very difficult. TH. We do not have, yes, we do not have the, th the TH sound um, in Portuguese. So it's very difficult. The the many sounds the th can have. Thank you, thank you, Dave. Uh, that that's really going to help me a lot, Daniel. I'll I'll work on that stuff. Thank you, David. What were you going to say? Uh, yes, I know um, that Spanish-speaking people have difficulties with uh, v sound. The v. Yes, they pronounce it like B. That's right. I think, uh, Alberto, do you agree? Yes. Yeah, the V is difficult. The V, um, for me, the, the, the most difficult are the vowels sometimes. Ah, the vowel sound. Yes, because you know the, the in Spanish the, the sound of the vowels are different and sometimes for me are really difficult in English. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. What yeah, is vowel? For for I, I think that for, for Spanish speaking people, the the as as Alberto just said uh, vowel sequences are complicated because we don't have that in Spanish. Okay, right. eh, 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 something like you know, all that kind of stuff. And th 
and the, the, the Y sound, the Y sound, right? Uh, that many many Spanish-speaking people uh, make the mistake and say like a like a, like a J or or G and say Jew or or you know what I mean? Jew are yeah yeah the like Y that. and the J the Y and the J. EU. What is EU? Is like a double L or double L. Yeah, yeah. U, U. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, know that. That's that's one of them. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh. That's definitely what? the definitely the vowels, the vowels nuances, the bad, ber, uh, stone, something like that. Okay. Tongue, okay. The the uh and a. Uh, uh, the different, yeah, that's that's great. That's important for me. What about Milan? What about in Croatia? As you can see, th is divorced. Th, th is divorced. All right, th, good, good, good. What about in uh, Kazakhstan, David? Oh, <laughs> uh, this th. Also the th. Yes, th. Everybody has a problem with the th. Yeah. All right, very good, very good. You don't have similar sound. Ah, <clears throat> that's interesting. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. That that will help me in the future. Uh, I will I will make a, another lesson in the future uh, with vowel sounds and the th sound. Lots of th sound. I'll work on that. Very good. I appreciate that. Do you guys have any questions about anything? I have a question. Yes, Daniel. Uh, um, if I say to you, uh, an English teacher, you, um, uh, you think we we think about uh, a teacher who is who teaches English, okay? Yeah. Uh, but how can I say uh, uh, how can I say a teacher who was born in England? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think you have to say that a teacher who was born in England. Yeah, because yes. if you said an English teacher, we only think about the language teacher. Yes, in in, in Portuguese, in Port in Portuguese, uh, when we hear. English teacher, we think about a, first. We think about a teacher who was born in England. <laughs> ah, Vicodin, stop drumming. What? Stop drumming. No, I'm not. I'm not drumming. <laughs> who? Who is drumming? Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. I'm stop not here. Here. Here in, in, in go ahead, Alberto. Here in Australia, people who were born in England is uh, the people say pommies. How, how do what they say? Pommies. P O M Y. Pommies. Pommies. Yes. Why pommy? What does that mean? Yes. P O A M Y. Um, P O M Y. Let me. I, I don't know exactly, but let me check. Mm. Me. It doesn't sound like nice for the history. You know, Australia was um, colonized by British people. Yeah, it was colonized. Yeah, yes. 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 I thought that Australia was in the past kind of a kind of a Frisian, Frisian for English people. That's what I understood too. That Australia originally yes. was uh, a, a prison. Kind of a prison. A prison. Is that true, Alberto? Yes. Yes, that's true. Mm. Yeah, so there's they, nothing they, but bad people in Australia. They used to travel from 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 Britain to to Australia 
on a boat, on a boat. And it took so long that when they get Australia, they stayed there. They just stayed there. No, they yes. didn't come back. They didn't yeah, come yeah. back. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that was Palm is apple in French. <laughs> yes. Palm me is apple in French. <laughs> yes. No, not apple. Not apple. Yes. Palm. Palm is apple in French. Est-ce que je parle le français? Oui, oui. Oui. Je suis un peu. Je sais pas. Je parle le français un peu aussi. La pomme. <laughs> Bum. How do you, David? David, how do you say apple in French? Apple. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe he's right. <laughs> ah, <Yes. laughs> wow. David, your French sounds very good too. Everybody <laughs> speaks so many languages. Yeah. I speak Spanish, French, Russian, English. <laughs> wow. In German, I think, in German, I think is in German is kind of in German is kind of similar to English. German is what? The, the, the word apple. The word apple. Ah. I think it's it actually English comes word. from from uh, from As German. In As in English. Okay. But I don't remember right now. Okay. I see we have Froso's class. Hello, Froso's class. Hello. Only two people today. I get three. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> we're we're almost finished. They found the mini. The mini is, is prisoner of modern India. Okay, Alberto, go ahead, Alberto. Prisoner of prisoner of Alberto's frozen. Alberto's frozen. Yeah. Oh, the Australian government cut him. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want. We know the truth. Nobody, no, nobody can know the truth. Yes, yes. Uh, all right. What well, do you guys have? Any other questions of me? Uh, Alberto's you, back. Uh, Alberto's back. Alberto, try it again. Prison of what? Uh, the the meaning of pomi I found in in, in Google is. Prisoner of mother in England. The prisoner of mother in England? Yes. Prisoner of mother in England. Interesting. Yeah. Prisoner of mother in England. Call me. <laughs> That's terrible. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Once again, do you guys have a uh, la pomme is is uh is French great. Do you guys have any more questions of me? Any questions? But you didn't you didn't respond to me. I'm sorry, Daniel. What was your question again? I'm sorry. <laughs> how can I say a teacher how can I how can I express uh with an adject an an ad adjective uh teacher who was born in England? Yes, you. I, I answered you. You have to say a teacher who was born in England. As an adjective, you can say an English teacher, okay? Or he's English. He's an English teacher. Can uh, we but say uh, an English-born teacher. teacher? Okay, that would be possible, yes. But uh, usually we would British say... British teacher? Yeah, a British teacher would be fine. Uh, a bummy teacher. What, what about... What about what about an, uh, an English person who teaches English? Yes, that that's fine too. That's fine too. Uh, so uh, let me let me think. So if I say uh, an English teacher, I can I can refer to a teacher who teaches English and to a teacher who was born in England. No, I would once again if you said an English teacher, my first thought would be a person who teaches English. Okay, yeah. not a, a teacher who was born in England. I would not think that. But, but I, don't okay. think that you, I don't think you, you, you have to be worried about that, Danny, because the context tells you itself. I but think. if you want to emphasize that the person was born in England, <laughs> then, you, then you should say, yeah, I think actually I like the uh, British teacher. He's... He's a British teacher. Yeah, he's he's a British teacher. He's a British teacher. 
or he's uh, uh, England, English born, English born teacher. Yeah, those two sentences are good. Okay. A boring teacher. <laughs> what is he? Uh, he's a palmy. He's a palmy. He's a palmy teacher. <laughs> a native English teacher. A native English. You have a native English teacher. Americans and Canadians would say, "I'm a native English teacher." Yeah. What, what else? Is, uh, what does it mean? Abominable and ab abominable. Can you write it down? Abominable. Yes, yes. She's right. Abominable. <laughs> yes, abominable. Ab abominable means terrible. So, like, we say the abominable <laughs> snowman. There's a, 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 a Christmas cartoon with the abominable snowman. Yes, okay. uh, abominable. So, abominable. Abominable snowman. No. Uh, someone someone who terrorizes. That's right. Something that's very scary and very terrible. As opposite, he is beginning from admirable, admirable kind of. Yeah, the opposite of admirable. That's right. Admirable. Yeah. Okay. Why why do you want why do you want to know abominable? <laughs> I, I, just, <laughs> I just listened uh, one lesson. Uh, the one American teacher uh, told us about a abominable man and an admirable man kind of a, it's a story. And nowadays in America, we have a joke and we say Obama Nation, but we also say uh, Obama Nation. <laughs> As in abomination. Abomination. Yeah. <laughs> abomination. <laughs> Did you listen on YouTube? Uh, one little girl uh, says, "I am tired of uh, Obama, Dama, and Mickey Rooney." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not Mitt Romney, Mickey Rooney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Alberto. Good. Snopes is a good site. Any other questions? What about from Froso's class? Any questions from uh, from Greece? No questions. Okay. What about? Uh, oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate I really appreciate the class joining like that. That's very nice. If we can, our time, we will be able to hang out with you again. Yeah. 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 That's great. I hope that you can. Yeah. We hope to. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Too. Thank you. Thank you. I, I have a little one. Change. Okay. The, the, the word creation. How do you say pre? Uh, this word. Uh, I'm I'm writing down. Okay. Prison. Right prison. It's prison or pre prison. 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 Like like as like z. It's a z sound. That's right. Prison. Prison. So the person is a prisoner. 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 Yeah. Okay. Prison. Prison. People who okay. commit violence. That's right. A person who commits <laughs> violence. You are a walking dictionary, David. <laughs> no. 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 Not not all not uh, not all all the people who commit crimes are behind bars. That's unfortunate. That's true. I am still free. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the welcome to the club, buddy. <laughs> we we oh, are all that and a baseball bat. There you go, all that and a baseball bat. <laughs> Eric Clapton. That's right. We rules. We rules. <laughs> Fabio, do you have any questions? Hello, thanks, uh, Shane. I wanted to say thank you for this channel. Your your uh, YouTube channel. I appreciate it every day. I watch it. 
and you help you do help us. Thank you very much. God bless you. Oh, thank you very much, Fabio. That's really nice. I, I, I really like doing it and uh and I really appreciate uh your comments there. Thank you. Marcos, do you have any questions? No questions, Shane. Thanks great, for all. Great. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. No, uh, YouTube I'll... channel has been very useful. <laughs> Shane Shane, I, I have one qu one question. Yes, Alberto. I I would like to reduce reduce my accent. Uh, what do you think is the best way to start to reduce my accent? Yeah, what you need to do is you really need to uh, obviously concentrate on the pronunciation and from the beginning the, the the alphabet, the A B C D E and the vowel sounds like you said. Okay. Okay. So. <clears throat> Uh, what this is one thing I need to do. I need to make uh, uh, some lessons, just the basic alphabet and the and the different sounds of the letters and stuff like that. And then you need to start reading out loud a lot. Okay, if you read okay. out loud, it will help you. And then, do you know about shadowing? Do you know about shadowing? What is shadowing? Shadowing, shadowing is is listening to English, and at the same time you listen try to repeat okay, okay? so <clears throat> we have our daily dictation and I put the answers on the whiteboard right yeah and then so when you listen to the original audio and you can see the answers try and say it along with the announcer and that will help but you need to practice a lot you need to practice a lot Coach Shane, didn't you say you're doing like a reading, speaking thing channel soon? <laughs> That's right. Alberto, I will uh, begin a speaking channel uh, probably by December. We'll have a, a speaking channel. Wow, so thank you. when I begin that, uh, hopefully you can join. And uh, on the speaking channel, I will uh, grade everybody's speaking, the pronunciation, the intonation, the speed, uh, and all that stuff. So uh, I hope uh, you can join the uh, the speaking channel in the future. I think that will help a lot, actually. Yeah. Are you guys interested in the speaking channel? Yes, I love. Yes. Yeah, yes. I hope so. Good. Carlos, do you have any questions? No questions. Um, no questions. You're a genius. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry because I've been studying for five Carlos months. Sounds, sounds I like know. It's cold. And Carlos, my, vocabulary, my vocabulary is very limited. Oh, but Carlos, Carlos is amazing. Carlos has only been studying English for five months, and Carlos, your English is better than mine. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, do you have any questions? A lot. You you have a million questions. Stop asking a questions. A lot, <laughs> but. Not today. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's great. Well, hey. gentlemen, I will say good night. 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 Good night.